Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. This is a review video of the QNAP ReadyNAS TS869. Um, I hope you enjoyed the software portion of the review of this unit. Um, this is the hardware review. Um, as you can see, the unit I've currently powered off because the power cable is not long enough. <laughs> um, overall, the hardware hard drive tray is really smooth operation, and compared to my AO9 Pro, the um, processor switch from a Core 2 Dual 2.8 GHz to an Intel Atom processor. Um, so overall power consumption has gone down on the processor front um, without sacrifice too, sacrifice too much was the CPU performance due to a change of dual core uh, to dual core with hyper threading so you have to do four threads. I didn't notice much difference in using it. Interface is pretty slick. They run the same software and there are Several good things about this construction. Um, first of all, the case is very dense. Um, it's all steel construction. And the hard drive caddies are very smooth to pull out. Um, I had the the infrared, or now Netgear um, NAS unit, was a four bay, and the caddies were really hard to use. You feel like you're on the verge of breaking it before to, um, you can pop one out or insert one in. This, on the other hand, feels very smooth just like my AO9. Of course, the noise level is also an improvement. It's much quieter than my AO9. Um, the A69 is a lot quieter. And the buttons, um, although rare to use, it is usable to do some minimum configuration. For example, shutting down the unit and check the volume name and shows IP address with an LED screen right here. And right now it's off, that's why you can't see it. And there's also indicator light above each drive caddy. So when there's a drive failure, uh, you can see the light changes so you know which drive to pull out without um, have to guess which one it is. For example, in this unit, the first drive is drive one, the last one is eight. In other units, um, the first drive is supposed to be drive zero, zero to seven. Uh, but, you know, that could cause a confusion. Oh, drive one failure. Okay, drive one, whoops, I just pop out drive zero. You know, with a light indication, it's always better to know which drive is right, which one is not. And there's the power button right here, and this is the USB copy. One of the functions, um, you can watch my software review video that you can set up so that the when you plug a USB drive or USB key onto this port right here, pressing this button will instantly copy everything onto the USB drive onto the NAS unit itself. So it creates sort of a backup station for USB drives. So, Overall, I'm very happy with the unit um, in terms of buying it as a NAS appliance, network attached storage appliance. Um, there, are, I wish there were some several improvements that the um, QNAP company would do. Um, first of all, is actually includes a battery backup to the right cache. So when you don't have a, a battery, the uninterrupted battery supply attached to the device, and then when there's a power outage, there will just be little battery power with inside to finish writing the cache from memory into the drive so it doesn't get lost. It's just like, you know, shouldn't cost that much, but it will definitely be a help as a feature. Another thing is, um, show you. As you can see, this drive, this unit does carry um, two eSetup port right here and two USB 3.0, they're blue. Um, so there's actually four high-speed connection. Um, I wish they would sell a sort of an expansion chassis that's smaller, lighter, cheaper than this unit right here that allow you to use the, either the East SATA collection, connection, one or two, or same thing USB 3.0, will allow me to add, let's say, another set of rate of drives, let's say eight more drives, and set up different rate array and uses the memory and processing and network connection power off of this one. And with that separate chassis unit, I can just attach an eSATA or USB cable and a power cable, and that's it. I basically instantly, basically adds another hardware drawer into the existing controller uh, system. That would be a much great upgrade and expansion option for existing QNAP owners. I'm sure, you know, I have one and just like, it's kind of frustrating that the company doesn't offer an upgrade path or at least not cheaply because I would have an A unit, A bay unit, and this is an A bay unit and the higher one go, it's a 10 bay unit. You know, I would much willing to add another A bay 
um, without buying, purchase another QNAP cheaper. Um, a good thing about changing to a um, for Atom processor, and then the, they also make this a lot cheaper, is that when I bought my A09, the A bay unit with 2.8 gigahertz core 2 dual um, processor, is about $1,600. Um, this thing is about 500 bucks cheaper. So on that front, it is fantastic because now it's like for five hundred dollars you pretty much get the same thing. Actually, has the extra eSATA port, the extra USB 3.0 port, the extra HDMI port, and memory is upgradable. I don't know if you watched my unboxing video on screwing their six screws right here to remove the chassis case, and then there's the um, laptop memory um, right here. You can upgrade your memory. You have a three gigabytes of memory, so. With my system right now, it has a memory slot, but it's not accessible and it's not user serviceable. So I could basically rip open my AO9 and put more memory in there so I can run Minecraft server, which uses a lot of memory. Um, this unit right here will allow me just simply buy a new RAM, two gigabyte, and pop it in. They're fairly cheap and get it done with it. As you can see, they're pretty standard as fan. The fan is really quiet. Um, you have a little bit of noise um, when it first start up. And after that, everything's fine. Power supply, you can't hear it. There is the alarm um, to show you when there's a major event going off, but normal cases, you won't hear it. So it's quiet, but not quiet enough that I will put this right next to a TV to get you to use the XBMC um, client feature with the HDMI port. It is not that whisper quiet operation. So if you have a sort of entertainment center that you can place this, inside the cabinet or in a separate room and run the HDMI cable. This is pretty cool because you can store pretty much your entire video library onto this unit itself and run off the XBMC um, port into your TV and then basically you have as part of your home video server uh, option. So it's pretty cool. So overall, I'm very happy with QNAP. Um, I just wish they would offer, offer some kind of expansion option for existing QNAP users who did not go buy the A-Bay. I mean, if you have a four-bay unit, get this. If you need more you know, storage option, definitely get this. The Intel processor, um, it, fantastic, fantastic device. And now it's cheaper now, so it's great. Let me know if you have any questions. Overall, I'm very happy with this unit. I, they've done a fantastic job. I have no problem with my A09. It's been on for the past two years. No problem. It's still running. Uh, great. No, no power supply failure. One hard drive failure, but yeah, it's not QNAT's fault. It's Seagate. Anyway, um, so this is my review, and thanks for watching. And let me know if you have any questions, and please subscribe. Thank you.